Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Vincent. Today I'm going to cover what is a social media creative agency and how I've been actually able to make my money because whenever I talk about the fact that I run a creative agency, everybody's asking like what does a creative agency actually do? So in this video, I'm going to answer exactly that. So I consider anyone a creative agency owner who helps people and businesses with a creative based service. So a creative based service, in my opinion, is so stuff like content creation, copywriting, and maybe even like, you know, posting and growing somebody's social media that is also pretty creative. So anything that is like creative based, that can be, you know, graphic design, video editing, uh, photo editing, uh, copywriting, anything like that really. Now with my creative agency, we actually help YouTube professionals to grow their own YouTube channel and uh, sell more coaching products or courses or whatever they are actually selling, whether that's like supplements or their own app, um, whatever they are selling, we will help them to sell more through the uh, power of YouTube and uh, growing a channel organically. And uh, you know, that is a highly creative uh, service because we basically take care of everything uh, from looking for uh, video ideas and doing topic research, editing the videos that they uh, shoot um, and then uploading it, creating the thumbnail for it, doing the SEO and uh, just overall like managing the whole, whole channel. So this is what I consider a creative agency. Any person who runs an agency that sells these kind of creative services. And now I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of a creative agency uh, and kind of compare it to a Facebook ad agency and more of a traditional social media marketing agency that you have probably already heard about. So I would say the first pro and the one that is the biggest for me is the fact that it is a creative uh, business and the fact that it's not just uh, you know you having to go through Facebook ad accounts and uh, work with different numbers and for some people I think that is the right move like some people are very analytical and really like working with numbers I'm personally not really one of those I prefer working uh, more of a creative job where I can make uh, creative decisions and kind of uh, put my vision into um, paper or uh, into video form. Now, I would say the second pro is that it is pretty easily outsourceable. You can find a lot of amazing copywriters, uh, content creators, and uh, even like social media managers on Upwork, Fiverr, or Facebook groups. And it is a skill that is a lot more easily learnable than Facebook ads, for example. So you can find a lot of high quality people and uh, you can get them for a pretty good price as well. So it is, I would say, a bit easier to build a good team around a creative agency than it is around a marketing agency. The third pro is that it is not really saturated at the moment. So there are so many people doing the uh, traditional ad agency model now that it is like pretty, pretty difficult to break into that space. I know because I have many friends who are in that space. Actually, two of them are in this villa behind me right now. Uh, we are here in Madeira, Portugal right now in uh, an amazing villa and uh, came out here to kind of vacation and work from here at the same time. But yeah, they are telling me like, it is so difficult to get clients because there are th hundreds of thousands of these Facebook ad agencies and they are messaging the same uh, you know, few people. And um, yeah, it is getting harder and harder to get clients. Now I'm not saying it's not possible. It is just the bar that the barrier to entry is pretty high. You need to be really, really good at what you do. Whereas there's um, like a growing demand and need for uh, uh, creatives and uh, you know content creators and even pe for ad agencies like the most crucial part is the ad creative itself like the video ad or the photo ad and they are looking for more and more content creators and creatives uh, to help them with those as well so I feel like there is right now a growing need in the market for more content creators and uh, there is slightly less of a demand for Facebook ads and marketing now I'm not saying there isn't a demand it's still like really crucial but uh, Facebook and the algorithm of the ad um, advertising platform, like the Facebook business manager, uh, the algorithms are getting better and better. And um, there is like less of a need um, for heavy duty media buying and actually like tweaking the ads itself. Uh, now you obviously still need those people and uh, there is still a demand for that, but it's just a lot smaller than it used to be. So I already kind of went over the other pros as well. And those are that there is always need for content and always will be if we are uh, going in this direction of becoming more and more um, social media based uh, creatures and uh, more of a social media based uh, society. Social media is basically made up of content. 
important. It is like the core of it. So there is always a need for it. And I feel like it is a growing market. So there is another pro. Now let's go over the cons as well, because I don't really want to give you like a super biased view on this business model. So the creative agency model is probably a lot harder to scale than it is to scale a profitable and already successful marketing agency, because you simply cannot really demand uh, those high retainers that a marketing agency can. Because if a Facebook ad agency can bring in, let's say a million dollars a month for a client, they can ask for 10, $20,000 uh, retainers. Now that is not the norm by any means. Most agencies, uh, Facebook ad agencies don't make anywhere near that, but there is, um, like an opportunity or there is an, um, an easier way to scale up a Facebook ad agency 200 or 200 or 300k per month and a creative agency I would say is very scalable until like 20 to 30k per month profit but after that it gets really really complicated you will need to be working with a ton of clients uh, a ton of freelancers and it can get messy so I would say if your goal is to make you know hundreds of thousands a month um, then probably a marketing agency could be a better long-term option for you. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you're gonna be making hundreds of thousands in a couple years even, but if you wanna do it for you know, 10, 20 years, uh, it will be a lot simpler in my opinion. If you just wanna get to that 20K uh, or 10K per month mark, where you can travel the world, be wherever you want, uh, honestly, like, afford most of the things that one could want, then I think the creative agency is just as viable of an option as, if an, as an ad agency, because you can charge uh, 2K, 3K retainers, even with a creative agency. I know because I have done it personally. Um, so why couldn't you do that as well? And most, you know, smaller startup uh, Facebook ad agencies don't charge more than one or 2K either uh, per month. So you are pretty much on the same uh, like level playing field. So overall, who do I recommend this creative agency business model to? I would say I can highly recommend it to people who are freelancers and and creative professionals who are maybe doing freelancing gigs here and there, but they want to transition to more of a steady and also higher income. So if you want to build an actual business and not just be stuck freelancing forever, then I would say it is an amazing opportunity to get these uh, monthly retainer clients and help them with their social media, help them grow their business with um, creative services. And I can also recommend it to people who just want to make like 10 to 30K per month. And this is not an easy thing to do. Like it's going to take probably a year or two to get to that point and a ton of hard work. So it's not like a quick way to make money online. It is like an actual business that you need to learn how to build and uh, it will take a ton of sweat equity, but it is a possible way to get to that point where you can you know, travel the world and get a lot of location and time freedom as well from your business. So I really hope this video helped you and uh, you got some value out of this and got more of an idea about what a creative agency actually is. If you want to start your own creative agency or grow your existing one to 10K per month, uh, then feel free to go and book a call with me below if you want some help from me personally. And uh, yeah, this is for uh, serious people only who have a budget for it and who want to work with me one-on-one -on -one and get the best like custom help that they can get in this field. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, feel free to go and book a call with me below. If not, that's completely fine too. I hope you enjoy this free content on YouTube that I put out. Hope you got some value out of it. If you did, please go ahead and smash the subscribe button and the like button as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.